Hello guys, welcome back to another edition of the Black Star series, Life Your Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. On the Black Star series, we bring you exclusive and latest updates concerning the Black Stars as they prepare to face Nigeria and also Uganda during the international break. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the new Black Star team manager, Life Your Sports Corner GH. We are also going to talk about Mohamed Jumandi. Most of you were asking about this player, why he was included in Utoado's 26 mile squad, but then he is not in team camp yet. I have the update for you, live here on Sports Corner GH. We are going to talk about it. We are also going to bring you latest updates from Asamwadan, the Baby Jets, and also from the Black Star Team Camp in Morocco, Marrakesh. So, guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed, to thank you very much, and may God richly bless you. On the Black Star series, we give shout out. So, guys, if your name is on the shout out list, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Please continue to support the channel. But if your name is not here, don't worry, don't be offended. Comment under this video and I'll make sure to bring up your name in the next shout out list. We do live here on Sports Corner G. So, guys, quickly, let's jump into it. And I'd like to begin with 23 players who were in camp yesterday, as reported. Now, we know that some players are out of the Black Star squad and they have been replaced. So, so far, 23 players, as reported by the Ghana Football Association, are in camp in Morocco, Marrakesh. And yesterday, these 23 players took part in the second training session as the Black Stars prepared to face Nigeria tomorrow. Yes. 22nd is tomorrow, we are going to play against Nigeria, but then when I take a look at the Black Star squad, it's made up of a lot of new faces, new, new, new faces. It's just that we have a few of the old players, but a lot of new faces, and I'm excited for this team because I feel like it brings a different dynamics to the Black Star team. And for those who want to watch full length of the video, uh, the training video, go to Ghana Football Association um, YouTube page to watch it out full, but then... What we can do with our visual pictures due to copyright reasons. But then from what I see, I think the, the training, the drills and everything is just in preparation for the game against Nigeria. And I would love to see a lot of new players to face to face Nigeria tomorrow. That's what I would love to see. But then most of the players who, who were in camp, I mean, they were part of the training session. Everything went smoothly, no injuries in camp. And I'm really excited about this. But then... Most people were asking why some Black Star players who were part of Oduado's original 26-man squad are not in their team camp yet. And I'm going to name about four players who were part of that squad, but then they have not been accounted for. One of those players is Gideon Mensah. We have not had any reason why Gideon Mensah decided not to show up for this particular friendly. But then, from what I hear, he has been replaced by Ebenezer Anand. Yes, the left back from Novi Paza. Yes, he has been replaced by that player. But then why? Why is Gideon Mensah not in Black Star team camp yet? That is number one. Number two, Daniel Amate, he was also part of Otoado's original 26-man squad. But then the 23 players that had the second training session, Daniel Amate is not part. We want some passes. Why is Daniel Amate not part of the Black Star squad yet? Alexander Jiku, next player. He's also not in camp yet. We still want access for that. And I've seen new faces. So the likes of Jerome uh, Opoku and also Casino Adams, I believe they are in the blank starting to replace Amate and also Jiku. But then at least we need answers. So why are they, they we need some answers? Yes. Why are they not there? The fourth player would be Mohamed Diomandi. Now, most of you were asking about this player. This player has in a call up to Ghana and the same player has in a call up to Ivory Coast. And people were asking. Where's Mohamed Duman? I mean, by this time, he should be in Black Star Team Camp, isn't it? Yes, but then the player took to his IG page to explain a lot of things. And I'm going to read it out so you can see it on your screen. The player says that, as a child passionate about football, my dream was to become a professional footballer and to defend the colors of my country wherever I go and play with the national team. Today, I am really grateful with Allah for having achieved part of this dream, that of becoming a professional footballer it remains the other part that that of joining the national it remains the other part that of joining the national team and also making my parents proud in addition i am equally aware of the interest in my host country ghana where i have spent more than seven years of my life training as a footballer however a lot has been said but i am in direct contact with the manager concerned about my issue my decision it is he who holds the real information about my choice. I would like to thank my club 
uh, Rangers FC for their support, my family, and also all my fans during this period. Now, this is coming from Mohamed Dumandi. He says that, see, his dream was to become two things in life a professional footballer and also play for his national team, that is his country. But then he has been able to achieve one, that is being a professional footballer. But then the second one, that is what he's yet to decide. It's in the balance. But then he acknowledged the fact that Ghana, which is his host country, where he has spent more than seven years training, have included him to their squad list. Also, not forgetting, Ivory Coast is also in the corner. But then he says he has communicated his decision to the manager, which is Otto Adam, and he holds the true information. So right now, we want to know to add why is Mohamed Dumandi not in camp? Because the player did not even give the reason why he's not in camp yet. He says Otto Ado holds the real information. You can see it on the screen. So we are also waiting for answers. So guys, if you are asking about Mohamed Dumandi, why he's not in camp and everything, guys, this is the reason. This is the reason. It's like the player and Kasa, it's not easy for him to decide between Ivory Coast and then Ghana. But then currently, he says he has already communicated his decision to the manager, which is Otoado. We are waiting for him to, you know, come and say something. But guys, this is the latest update concerning Mohamed Diomandi. Let's move away from that and talk about Black starting manager, which make this very quick. Now, Harry Asante Chum, the communication director of the Ghana Football Association, said that Chris Yotin's technical team will not return again. None of them were going to return. Only for this morning, for us to see a report that Aminu Shado has been reinstated as the Black starting manager. I mean, what happened to uh, Chris Hilton's technical team not returning again? You are bringing someone from that old regime to this new regime. Are you guys? This one is in your hands. What do you think about Aminu Shadow being the Black Star team manager? Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Now, moving away from that, let's talk about Samajan the baby jet. Now, Samajan tweeted this. On X, formerly known as Twitter, he says that I am happy to endorse the all regional games coming soon to every region as a crucial platform for reviving grassroots sports in Ghana. I hope the event not only showcase local talent but also improve national cohesion and also healthy competition. Let's race champions together. And this is coming from Asamwajan, the baby jet. We shouldn't forget recently he was included to Balmier's manifesto team. And I mean, Asamwajan is, you know, they're on the right path to help you know solve the Ghana football issues and this is what um, he's saying he says he endorses the all regional games which is coming very very soon and this is Asamwajan it is part that you know it is important that we support this course because I mean grassroots football is the foundation of whatever Ghana football is so guys this is very important lastly let's talk about our ladies yes the black princesses they will be in action today they are going to play the finals against Nigeria. See, yesterday, Athletics, Nigeria last week. They fought by 100 meters, really. Both men and women. Nigeria last week proper. But today, Ghana versus Nigeria. The women's football. Black Mr. I trust you. I know you can do it. You have done it before. You can do it. They can do it. Let's support them. It is 8 p.m. Support. Let's go and support them because... As for this one, see, Nigeria can win whatever it is, whether it is Jolof, Debbie, or whatever, uh, music, food. But when it comes to football, no, 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 they know it. Nigeria know it. No, no, they know it. And I believe black princesses are going to do the do. They are going to do their job. And it's very important that we support the black princesses. But guys, this is where I end today's video. Let me know your thoughts about that. 23 players in Black Star Team Cup. They took part in the second training session. Let me know what you think about that. Also, um, Mohamed Jumandi has responded to a lot of, you know, questions most Ghanaians have about his collapse. He has also responded to that. And also, we wanted, you know, answers to three players who are not in Black Star Team Cup currently. Gideon Mensa, Daniel Amate, and Alexander Jiku who have all been replaced by other players. And Asamwajan, you know, endorsing the all-regional, you know, grassroots football uh, tournament that is coming up. So, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Sadeb. I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Charlie, we go vibe.